Hi guys, welcome to my video. So BMW E93. Uh, I've had some issues with my one because I bought this with the uh, the hood not working. So um, I replaced the uh, hydraulic pump stroke motor on it. Uh, but another job I've been meaning to do is to lubricate all the cables and stuff. Uh, give it a good clean because uh, I live in a desert. Dust gets everywhere. So just to um, ensure that the, uh, the hood's going to be working as it should do um, I'm going to drop the hood halfway so we can access uh, all the different points uh, give it a clean and then I'll show you um, where to top up the hydraulic oil drop the roof halfway down uh, and that exposes some different points as you can see there's loads of dirt in mine it can sometimes get a sticking point inside there so I'm going to give that a little clean Obviously, uh, all the joins, different areas, in there and in there. Um, just ensuring that the rubbers as well, because uh, they're, they're pretty dirty. So uh, get some sort of cleaner, probably a, I've got a silicone grease. So I'll show you the grease I'm gonna use. Um, someone's obviously done that previously. It's pretty dry now. So yeah, these points will be um, greased up. Use this stuff, uh, specialist white lithium grease. So, first of all, we're going to little joins. Not too much, but you know, just enough to sort of go around. You don't want to overdo it. Just ensure that they're gonna be okay. Uh, there's a little bit there. I don't know if you can see that. Probably overdoing it a bit, but there you go. Obviously, I'm going to do the same on the other side, and then I'm going to clean these rubbers and give that a wipe after yeah so obviously careful with the interior if you've ever done it before just focused on this one joint for some reason I would give it a little wipe with a rag afterwards as well, just to, you know, not have it everywhere. Okay. Right, and then I'm gonna use Waste to use this for that, but it's going to need softening a little bit, and it does feel pretty crusty. So, I'm going to wipe that with a rag, then, as you can see, there's my pump that I had to replace. Uh, and it seems that one of the big issues, because when I fitted this, it wasn't working, the roof wouldn't go all the way down, it's an absolute nightmare. So if your hydraulic oil level is not level with this plus sign or a little bit above, then it will, it basically won't work properly. So it will get stuck halfway, you'll have all sorts of problems. So there is a screw and this does literally just lift out. Once you take the cover off, you can access this cap head, undo that and then carefully, because you, you probably sit it in the, in the back of the car like this, and uh, I think I use like a baby's bottle or something, put some oil in now. I'll show you all in a second that I used and then just kept doing a little bit by little bit till I got above the plus sign. So this is, this is the hydraulic oil that I used, which is uh, the correct one. So I was told 
for the car. I'll try and do a screenshot. I think I've got a little Amazon as well. So that is vital. So apart from obviously the lubrication uh, and then cleaning, then that hydraulic oil level um, is crucial. <clears throat> obviously this is in the boot under the panel. Okay, just to illustrate your uh, pump location. So in your boot, lift up this panel. And then that plastic case there, you got three bolts, take them three bolts out. And that's where you're gonna find your hydraulic pump. So um, yeah, absolutely crucial. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a clean and then come back. Okay, so I spent about 10 minutes going all around, doing all the rubber seals. Uh, not forgetting these two hooks underneath there, each side. Okay, um, I've just basically cleaned the rubbers all around there, up above, across the centre, uh, and across the back end, underneath the back window. Um, you could use, I suppose, some clean engine oil, smear it on a rag. Uh, just to keep it because mine feels a little bit dry so um, I'll probably do that next um, but then that's the good basic service for your hood okay so I've applied some oil to all the rubber seals uh, one area that I did nearly miss which I will go over so I'll probably do the rubber seals in the boot uh, so you've got the uh, big hinges in the back there as well so always good to add some extra lubrication in there because it's part of the process for opening and closing. And obviously the same, both sides. Um, protecting your car, you can see the bloody sand in there. So yeah, the hinges, you can see that's wearing on now. But yeah, a little bit of the mechanism in there. Could probably do with some lubrication. Obviously be careful of electrics. But um, yeah, anywhere where there's a hinge, to keep it working properly okay if you like the video please uh, like share subscribe uh, thanks for watching